<笑>あ、<笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> It's really an amazing piece of equipment. When you see it for the first time, you think like, however is this possible? Happy Tuesday, fellow 3D printers. I'm Jay Wall with Print That Thing here to let y'all know what's going on in the world of 3D printing. 3Ding has developed a sexy, strong, simple one button printer for under $460, plus shipping from India. 3D printers printing printers! Toy Rep created an $85 printer using tiny toy motors and 3D printable parts. Studio Ilio over in London are using large heated wires and sand to create these abstract pieces of furniture for your bum to sit on. A concrete house printer able to print 18 foot walls is being shown off in Moscow's 3D printing expo in early October. American CNC manufacturer Thermwood created an industrial printing system with a six axis extruder head, allowing it to print large 10 foot carbon graphite reinforced thermoplastics in any direction up to 90 degrees. 3D printing with light. Using a LED light extruder, long camera exposures and coating, filmmakers are now able to add beautiful 3D printed light sculptures to their work. Harvard spinoff Voxel 8 are disrupting the design and manufacturing of electronics by 3D printing highly conductive silver ink into their models like little circuit boards. So who knows, you may be printing your new smartphone soon. E3D has kickstarted and created a huge printer they call Big Box. It's fully hackable with a grow as you go kind of system and can print about a foot tall. But if you need to go even bigger, there's the base over in Australia and you can print out small little children if they're sitting down and that'll be on Kickstarter soon too. But it prints two feet tall. With three photos of your feet, you can now have fully customized personalized, flexible 3D printed shoes. 3D Print Life has developed a biodegradable Envirio ABS filament for $50, and the filament ships in a recycled cardboard package that can fit almost any 3D printer. Movolver is working on a really cool project called RETR 3D, where third world communities can build 3D printers from actual waste found in the Nairobi dump sites. You just type in the dimensions of the piece of trash you found, and then a series of Python scripts will use FreeCAD to design the remaining pieces that you need to build a fully functioning 3D printer. The world's best stethoscope was designed and 3D printed by Gaza doctor Tarek Lumbani and his team of specialists. The stethoscope has been tested for a few months now and is actually proven to work a little bit better than the traditional more expensive competition. A titanium 3D printed spinal cord implant helps Amanda Gorvin with her constant back pain. It's been three months since the surgery and she says that she can do normal activities without crazy pain. Got old mason jars? Poland design team has created a mini 3D printed greenhouse using just those. You simply just plant inside the 3D printed base, screw the mason jar on top and voila, a mini greenhouse. Roku Danashka, Japanese artist known for her personal vagina art and pussy kayak, was re-arrested in December for distribution of her obscene data files to her fans. She's currently undergoing a lengthy trial and if found guilty, she'll face up to two years and a $20,000 fine. Google's Boston Dynamics announced today that they plan on using 3D printing for better design in their humanoid robot, Atlas. This method could greatly improve the weight, the hydraulic system, moving fluid throughout the legs, and add to the overall function and durability of the robot. Print, 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 printer of the, 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 the week. Designer Mashamaru Ono for his incredible VR headsets that were inspired by a rhino and a grasshopper. Personally, been obsessed with VR lately, so I just keep finding myself going back to look at his designs and drooling over how incredible they are. But you can buy them on his Shapeway store for low, low price of $10,000, and then just slide your smartphone right in, and boom, you're in another alternate reality. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next to Newsday and happy printing.
The danger of tropical weather, a threat starting again June 1st with the official start of the hurricane season. For researchers all over the world, preparing for hurricanes is a year-round effort. This new $50 million hurricane simulator lab, called SUSTAIN, could provide some answers to some of weather forecasting's biggest puzzles. Professor Brian House creates Category 5 hurricanes for a living. Interesting thing is from the top view, we kind of see like a satellite would see. Hurricane track predictions have gotten more accurate over the years, but scientists have been stumped about why storms suddenly get stronger, a mystery they believe is related to the water surface. They happen right at the, where the air and water meet, and the scales that are involved are below centimeter scale. So we can measure some things in here like that that are very important for understanding how intense a hurricane can get at full scale. Forecasters say this year's hurricane season is predicted to be slightly below average, but even in slower years, damage can be extreme. Even in a below average year, you can have a major hurricane hitting the U.S. Look what Andrew did in 1992 in a below average year. And we've had above average years and not one hurricane hits the U.S. President Obama received a briefing about the upcoming season at the National Hurricane Center where storms are analyzed and their movements predicted. But improving forecasts is only one goal of storm preparedness. Another is building sturdier structures that are more resilient to the punishing waves and winds that will strike during a major storm. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Miami. The Dyson 360i robot is powered by the high-speed Dyson digital motor. It's small and light, yet delivers higher suction than any other robot vacuum. A unique 360-degree vision system sees all the way around itself at once, selecting reference points to track and triangulate its position so it knows where it is, where it's been, and where it is yet to clean, systematically cleaning your home in 3-meter grids. Patented radial root cyclone technology generates powerful centrifugal forces to fling dust out of the air and into the bin. The robot's cleaner head spans the full width of the machine. Carbon fiber filaments remove fine dust from hard floors, and stiff nylon bristles remove ground in dirt from carpets. Continuous tank tracks climb over obstacles and maintain speed and direction, ensuring it stays on course. And the Dyson Link app allows you to start, pause, and schedule your cleans, as well as monitor and update the Dyson 360i robot vacuum. The Dyson 360i robot, the most powerful suction of any robot vacuum. From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Learning to play the guitar requires a lot of practice, hard work, and in the beginning, hands that hurt. Playing the air guitar is a lot easier. Without holding a real guitar, you copy a musician's hand and arm motions but that does not produce any sound. Now, researchers from Goldsmiths, University of London, and the University of Sussex have built a digital instrument using motion technology. It turns air guitar motions into music. Saran Gunatilika is co-founder of Curve Music. They developed the digital air guitar. He says they started by mixing different motion devices like gyroscopes and magnetometers. They combined that with a mobile phone. The mobile phone has the power to play music combinations as a person motions them. This is how it works. A small pad with eight buttons fits in the palm of one hand. In the other hand is a large electronic guitar pick. 
By pressing the buttons on the small pad, the player chooses chords. These chords are united with the sound of the pick in the other hand. The sound of the pick is sensitive to the energy of the arm motion. The guitar connects to a speaker through a smartphone or a tablet using Bluetooth. Jack Fuller is with Curve Music. He says that with just a few minutes of practice, someone who has never played a guitar can play simple music. Players can choose from three types of instruments, electric, acoustic, or bass guitar. Its inventors are now raising funds for mass production. That is planned to begin in March 2016. For VOA Learning English, I'm Ann Ball.